Stop listening to rubbish. Like do not eat stale food, do not eat leftover food or do not mix banana with this or that because the same chapter in Ayurveda that talks about food combinations also says this. You probably know Sanskrit better than me, so go ahead and screenshot this. But here's a rough translation anyway. This basically states that incompatible foods or virudh aha do not or does not impact certain people or certain situations, such as people who are young, those who exercise regularly, those who are habituated to it, because you can develop tolerance to poison as well, or those with high digestive power, or those who take virudh ahar in less quantity. In fact, it even states that virudh ahar in certain combinations can even cure the imbalance of doshas. So yes, if you don't exercise, overeat, are sick or are trying something new, it may adversely impact you, but bottom line is stay active, manage stress and eat a wholesome diet with a lot of varieties and you will Will be mostly fine in life. And let me add a little more. Or kya likha hai Virodhahar ke chapters mein? So Shruta Samhita even states that you should not eat meat of porcupine, boar and iguana mixed all at once. And that you should not eat in public. So do you realize how the culture and times have changed? Don't you dare eat your meals in your canteen, in your office canteen, ja ke apne boss ke office mein khau, akele baith ke. Is that even possible? And Virudha Ahar is a vast subject, beautiful subject, much beyond banana and milk. Look at the wisdom in it. Here are some more Virudha Ahars which you will never hear about because they will not allow you to sell a product. Number one, eating before previous food is digested. Second one, Agni Virudha, incompatible with your present digestive power, such as eating a heavy duty meal when you're running high fever. Doesn't make sense or when you have diarrhea. Another one is Matra Virudha, which is overeating or excess quantity beyond your current capacity. If you sit in your house, you don't have any activity, then where will you put 3-4,000 calories in your body? Here's one I like, Dosha Virudha, which means it is not suitable for you, but maybe suitable for me or vice versa, because personalization, Paka Virudha, using rotten fuel, dirty dishes, undercooked, overcooked, burnt. I love this one, Hridaya Virudha, which means unpleasant taste, you don't like it. So if I don't like green smoothie and avocado, I don't eat it, I don't eat it, I don't eat it, because I hate the taste of avocado. So personalization again. Yoga and Ayurveda are brilliant as self-awareness tools. You should use them to have a better mindset, have a better relationship with food and have much more faith in your body and mind's ability to be healthy, to recover. Feed it in your head that human body is rock solid and not easily damaged. All you need to do is give it the basics. Mostly balanced meals, exercise, sleep and manage your stress through spiritual or any other pursuit. Jo thik lage. All right, itna sab bakwas mat suno, you are not going to be damaged by some chotumotu incompatible food combination here and there. Stay happy, stay healthy.